The views and opinions expressed do not necessarily represent those of Access Fort Wayne, the Allen County Public Library, or any other supporting group. Access Fort Wayne is a department of the Allen County Public Library. If you or anyone you know might be interested in making a television show, please call 260-421-1250. Welcome to the Cashman Wellness Show. <laughs> the, uh, this is a wonderful opportunity uh, to uh, get rid of a chronic disease called diabetes, which has 30 to 50 other illnesses attached to. So the, what I'm going to have today really is good news. Well, I got onto this a long time ago that uh, diabetes, frankly, is preventable, reversible, 90% of the time. I knew this a long time ago, but recently I ran across a book called Diabetic Epidemics in You. Should everyone be tested? Absolutely not. Only those concerned about the future by Joseph Kraft. Okay, by Joseph Kraft. I encourage you to have a look at this book. I mean, I'll be telling you about the information, but you could read it in a day or two, okay? I probably read it 10 times now. Uh, what Joseph Kraft did, he was a pathologist in Chicago, University of Illinois in the 1970s, 50 years ago, he autopsied. 3,000 odd people, and then his fellow doctors and him studied 14,300 uh, people and gathered information, okay? And what he found, what he found uh, that almost everyone had vascular disease and the cause was related to serum insulin. Insulin is the hormone that pushes sugar into the cell for energy. Now we diagnose uh, people uh, with uh, di diabetes, you know, when the blood sugar is over 126, you're a, a, a diabetic. What Kraft really proved is that your serum insulin, the hormone that pushes the sugar into the cell, uh, rises long before the sugar and that you get the complications associated with diabetes long before it's diagnosed. So if we ran an insulin assay test, fasting, say one hour, two hour, he studied I think up to five hours, but you only need an hour or two. And if the level is raised, did something about it, told you how to eat right, exercise a, a, a little bit, you'd have to lose maybe five pounds instead of 50. You'd probably live to be 100. Why today the American Diabetic Association is not pushing his work, I have no idea. Maybe they want you to have the disease. Maybe it's because the drug companies are advertising in their magazines, they're making a lot of money. I, cognitive dissonance, I do not know. But this is a fact. I can show you the scientific papers. So what I'm saying is uh, diabetes and its complications of, of strokes, uh, heart attacks, vascular disease, 
blindness, dental uh, disease, arrhythmias, sudden death, amputations, dislocations, a liver disease, renal disease, skin diseases, and many more could all be avoided 90% of the time by diagnosing you early and recommending treatment when it's a lot easier. If you take a cell, take a human cell, it has on it receptors that stick up like that, okay? And, ins and, and uh, the first thing that insulin will do as it's rising is cause fatty liver, fat in the liver, and eventually it's too much, and it goes on these receptors and they become sticky. Uh, and uh, insulin, whose job it is to push sugar in the cell for energy, that's how you get your energy, shoe sugar, can't do it because these receptors are sticky with triglycerides. Triglycerides is fat, it's made from sugar. You don't eat much sugar, your triglyceride level will be low. That's why blood testing for triglycerides is a good idea. So I do recommend proper blood testing. When the group, if you were to come see me, and suppose you, you can be normal weight actually, but suppose you, because normal weight people can have diabetes too, okay? Especially, can even have type two, yes. Remember type one was we have no insulin, okay? Uh, matter of fact, people who died with type one uh, uh, and never had insulin, they lost all their insulin, they were never given insulin. They did autopsy them. He found they had no vascular disease. If you had a heart attack, you went to the emergency room. You said, do you have diabetes? No, I don't have diabetes. You, you, you know what, doctor, what uh, Dr. Kraft would say? It's a lie. You start running tests to them, they get diabetes. Mm -hmm. Interesting enough, in China, uh, where people died from the coronavirus, almost everyone had an elevated blood sugar. Mm -hmm. So if you want to avoid dying from the corona uh, virus, you can reduce the rate tremendously by preventing stopping reversing in diabetes. Since we don't know what's going to happen, I, I was just watching Bill Gates on this TED Talk this morning. He thinks in the fall, things are going to get really worse again. Survivors of type 2 diabetic, since they are more likely to die, 92% of the deaths in New York City had some complication of diabetes. Mm -hmm. High blood pressure, heart attacks, renal disease, liver disease. Yes, they, they did. Chicago, 80%. New Orleans, uh, 80%. I'd get rid of my diabetes. That's what I do. The odds of the world or this country uh, changing quick enough for you to avoid the disease, uh, good luck. But if you get rid of your diabetes you, and you're diabetic, your odds of uh, you not dying from this increases tremendously. Golden opportunity. I did a one hour show on that, uh, which will be on public access, six o'clock, uh, Comcast uh, 57, next Wednesday at six. Watch that, it'll be on YouTube in 10 days because to me it's pretty critical to relate how diabetes uh, is related uh, uh, to uh, the viruses. You can help uh, avoid that. So again, we have this person that could be normal weight, but it's a bit overweight, and we ran a glucose tolerance test on him. Okay, because he's overweight, we wonder if he's diabetic. Had a pot belly, you wonder if he's diabetic. Anybody has a pot belly should worry they're diabetic. 99% chance they do. I know, my own experience, okay? Uh, and, the, and the glucose tolerance test is normal. And they already had a normal, just plain old blood sugar, okay? You run, you run a glucose tolerance test because it's overweight, say, and, uh, or the, the skinny person because there's a family history of diabetes. You run a glucose tolerance test, you swallow 75 grams of sugar, fasting, and then the sugar, one hour, two hour, and it's normal. You say, you're not diabetic. That's not proof to me. Now we do it again. 75 grams of sugar. We've done a fasting. And we get a fasting blood sugar and a fasting serum insulin. The guy that puts the sugar into the cell. 
and then one hour, two hour, okay? Uh, and if a two hours is over 40, odds are you're diabetic. Repeat the test just to, just to be sure. But the, all the sugars were normal. Mm -hmm. Insulin was elevated. Now we caught you 15, 10 years before the time you became a diabetic, added 20 years to your life, avoided all those illnesses I already mentioned. Mm -hmm. From 50% of the people have a heart attack, no warning. They grab their chest and they're dead. They just fall over. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they don't tell you much about that. 50% of heart attacks, they grab their chest and they die. And 99% of them had chronic diabetes, okay? Where they're, because the insulin level, insulin, Punches holes in the intima, the very small blood vessels that you have, which the smallest ones are in the ear, the eyes, the conducting system of the heart and the small blood vessels, and also uh, uh, sexual uh, organs and the uh, uh, skin, hands and feet. Okay. Usually, hearing troubles, visual troubles. Arrhythmia problems, heart troubles, erection problems, numbness in the hands and feet precede the diagnosis of diabetes by seven to five years. The first change actually in diabetes is hearing. Meniere's disease is 99% related to microvascular disease from diabetes. A lot of people don't know that. A lot of times the ENT doctor doesn't even run a doesn't even run sugar tests to see that you do. Although they are more aware, even than the cardiologist, of the relationship of diabetes to disease. Yeah, they're the first ones to really accept this. They're much more aware. Uh, I'm not sure the cardiac people at this stage uh, are diving into uh, uh, prevention right off the bat. They're looking at the x-rays, you get some narrowing, you need a stent. Sometimes you do. But many times, if you have no symptoms, perhaps getting rid of your diabetes and vast disease is a choice. Read about it, think about it, get other opinions. I didn't say, you know, uh, what to do, but I do have a lot of experience uh, uh, with that. Uh, there is not much money in not doing anything. And that's not just true in vascular surgery. I saw it in my field, neurosurgery, you know, where the x-rays seem to be everything and not, hey, what's going on in your life while well, I'm stressed out? Instead, we treat the x-ray, dime a dozen. So I'm not just seeing one field, but you must participate in your health care. Read, read a bit, get second opinions. Uh, uh, for example, even before you take a pill like a statin, uh, you might have a choice. Statins have side effects. I read about statins. They have a lot of side effects. So make sure uh, that uh, you need it. I'm not telling you what to do, uh, but I want you to gain some knowledge. I'm about knowledge today, okay? What are some other good books to read? I told you about the craft book. Uh, i tell you one thing you could do too is pick up this sheet of mine here uh, which at the neighborhood health clinic we have it now. You can get it at the pharmacy next to Concordia High. But on the other side, st stay there a minute. Uh, on the other side is a barcode. See, see it? See it right there? See the barcode there? I don't think you can print it off the TV. But if you can get the sheet of paper and uh, click on the barcode, that will lead to a lot of choices on your uh, iPhone. That will uh, lead, three things will pop up. One will be books that you can read. Next will be my Facebook posts, which I do every Friday. I'm doing one tomorrow. I have about 10 minute posts about diabetes, preventing, stopping, reversing diabetes. I give you some, some clues. Uh, and the third thing on there is about my connection to YouTube. Now, YouTube you could get without the barcode by just 
go on YouTube, Rudy Cashman. That'll lead to 500 one-hour TV shows. You can segregate them by saying, uh, Rudy Cashman, diabetes, maybe 30, 50 shows. You, you watch those all an hour long. You know, you watch a little bit at a time. You'll gain a lot of information. This is about information. I want you to have a lot of information. You can make up your own mind and ask questions. You, uh, so you can ask your doctor, so you can ask health care providers. Uh, make up your mind before you have some big thing done. Uh, your first question to a doctor should be, unless you get a broken bone or something, what can I do to get rid of this disease? Other things you could do. And he says, oh, yeah, you got to take this pill. Well, I would still be skeptical and look up if you need that pill. Because when you read some of these books, you might question that. Okay? For example, so I want you to get a hold of this sheet because there's so much information. And it's all for free. I'm not selling anything. Nothing. I sell nothing. No pills, procedures, nothing. I give away information. This is Rudy's War on Diabetes, so much of it. Uh, that, that I think we can't sit back and, and like the government is doing, like maybe the healthcare system is doing, letting you have the disease. You can have it. And now the virus comes along, which has a much higher kill rate in diabetics, uh, that, uh, you know, they'll say, well, uh, the deaths from diabetes uh, uh, in, from the coronavirus are much higher uh, in, in uh, uh, the uh, diabetic population, uh, well, that has a much higher rate of diagnosis in certain racial and ethnic groups. Uh, is this a form of racial prejudice? I don't know, but you wonder about it. Uh, so I'm very glad and thankful that I gave the talk on the, at the Martin Luther King Day. I was honored in Fort Wayne to speak, and they picked the subject, diabetes. They know. They know uh, that uh, two or three times the rate of diabetes in a certain population, and, and, I'm, and they want to get rid of the disease, and I teach them how to do it. I love their cooperation. Is public health screaming and telling you about it? No, they weren't there. Did the, did the newspapers write a huge article about it to let the people know? They weren't there, but it's okay. I don't look back. I'm looking forward. You're watching me today. You're looking forward. So there's a book written by Jason Fung right here, a good book to read, to get rid of diabetes the natural way. Uh, he did the necessary research. He has a lot of stuff on YouTube. Yeah, look at him at YouTube. Just look at one of his shows a day, 20 minutes, and you'll gain tremendous knowledge uh, from him. And what he's even saying uh, is that metformin and insulin actually in many ways promote the disease because they help repair your blood sugar level but they're stuffing the sugar into the cells. And it's not the blood sugar level but it's the cells that have the metabolic system and they can't utilize all the sugar, what do you think they do with it? Make fat. So diabetics who take insulin, guess what happens to most of them? They gain weight. Yes. Where they inject themselves, generally they get a bump. What's due to fat formation? But it's all over their body, okay? So I, that's uh, not healthy. It's a lot better to get rid of your disease instead of promoting it with insulin. Certainly type 1 diabetics who have no insulin would die if they didn't have insulin. So that's fine. Uh, they need some. But if they eat right, exercise right, they need very little. 10, 20 units. That's about it. But if they, I know plenty of people that get pumps. Uh, and I saw a young boy that weighed recently. Uh, son of a waitress. I was having breakfast. And... Uh, and the boy was way overweight. And what it is, uh, is, is that he eats what he wants. And he needs a lot more insulin. Now he needs 100 units. 
And you know what's happening to him? He's just getting a lot of weight and things are getting worse and not better. So it's complex. You gotta gain some information. I didn't say what to do. You need, you need to gain some uh, uh, information. So my Dr. Fung did, has done the research. He's a renal doctor. Incidentally, when you're getting this testing done with the uh, serum insulins, but be sure to also check the, your kidney levels. They're measured by GFR, glomerular filtration rates, and, and, and uh, uh, the dialysis and renal transplant system is run generally by two companies. Mm -hmm. So what do you think is happening? And they separated from Social Security so that it, its own independent system, because it was costing so much, uh, and they teach very little. People who are in stage one to four GFR rate, uh, say, who have 100 to 20, how to stop it and reverse it. So a gentleman wrote a book uh, named Tom uh, called Lee Hull, H-U-L-L, H-U-L-L. Uh, I don't have that book here with me. He wrote a book, This Thick End of Renal Disease, he called it. He needed dialysis and renal transplant. He was stage four, four and a half to five where you need dialysis in the kidney. And he started uh, eating right, exercise more. Uh, and, and, and guess what happened? 15 years now, no, tra no dialysis, no transplant, because by proper eating, a little bit of exercise, many times you can reverse it a bit. Sometimes you can reverse it a lot. I don't think it's been well to study it. I'm studying it. I at this moment uh, have working uh, 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 with a, a lady uh, who was uh, stage four and a half or so kidney disease. She didn't want dialysis and transplant. She came to see me at the pharmacy at Th Three Rivers by Concordia High, where I see people for nothing on Fridays, uh, and wanted me to coach her uh, uh, what to eat. So I gave her Lee Hull's book, Lee Hull's uh, cookbook, and, she, and then I hired a dietitian. I'm paying the dietitian actually, uh, to teach her, to check on her, uh, and I check her every Friday, and we're gonna repeat her blood test in three months, a urine and blood test in three months, and see what's happened. Uh, I don't think at all these different levels, one, two, three, four, uh, that it's been properly tested to see if those stages of kidney disease are reversible or stoppable never been properly tested. I'm testing it just to see uh, if we could stop and reverse diabetes. I think this lady I'm talking about has lost 30 pounds. All the edema she had has gone away. Uh, she's urinating better. I get a feeling I'm actually improving her kidneys, although she was stage four. Yeah. We'll see. Uh, one case doesn't prove anything, but it's sure a beginning. So, I'm, I'm working on that. Then, so that's Lee Hull, H-U-L-L. That's mainly about kidney disease, but most diabetics get kidney disease. What's your level of kidney disease? The glomerular filtration rate, 100's normal. As we get older, it gets to be around 80. You know, me being uh, 39 for the 44th time, so I imagine mine is not, not 100. Uh, but if it gets, uh, uh, if it gets, starts getting uh, below 30 or 40, you start worrying. Okay, so, but I want you to work on it much earlier than that. Then here's another book by Tom Jelinek, Goodbye, Pills and Needles, okay? It's a wonderful book written by a PhD uh, who had diabetes. Uh, he got rid of his in 90 days. Besides, you get rid of your pills and your needles, there's less pain and you save a lot of money. Uh, and, and it's a wonderful book to read, a wonderful book to read, because uh, he's telling you how to do it, and he, and he quotes a lot of the famous people of books I read already. I mean, there was nothing new to me. I had Mark Hyman and Lustig and Dr. Furman and Dr. Fung. They're all in this book, uh, and, and, and he has them summarized in half a page. So uh, if I would read this book, and 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 uh, and, uh, and it, it, it's just great, and explains why metformin and insulin are necessarily uh, the lifesaver. Some people need them, no doubt about it. But it, it's it's very uh, explanatory, and I would uh, encourage.
encourage you to read that. Uh, and so how should a diabetic uh, eat? It's, it's not hard. Sugar is the booger and the hooker, okay? Certainly you need some sugar for energy, but actually uh, you could live totally without sugar. It would come from protein and fat, but, but you know, some sugar. So a low carbohydrate, okay? Uh, it doesn't have to be 20 grams a day. It could be in the beginning, maybe 50, but you don't have to count it necessarily. Eat foods of color, okay? Eat foods of color, you can add mushrooms and onions, they have no color. They're full of vitamins, minerals, phytochemicals. They run the metabolism of your body uh, very, very healthy. Uh, okay, so uh, moderate protein, uh, maybe uh, 0.5 grams per pound. So uh, your body needs a certain amount of protein. 80% of it will extract from proteins that broke apart during your day, like muscle activity breaks down proteins and the body just reuses them. So you need only 20% additional protein. So some, it's called essential proteins. Uh, uh, but uh, uh, eggs aren't bad. You eat a cup of eggs, that's uh, a protein. A lot of protein in vegetables, uh, actually. Uh, and uh, even uh, bacon. Uh, Lawns, not some turkey uh, bacon, for example. Uh, and uh, so some, some healthy uh, protein. You can have some carbs. You can a salad. It's got some carbs in it. That's, that's healthy, okay? I have a smoothie every day full of vitamins, minerals, and phytochemicals. Uh, so some protein. And then good fats. So what we're really recommending really uh, is a low-carb moderate fat way of eating. Mm -hmm. For 50 years, they told us, American Diabetic Association, the government, Ansel Keys, they t told us fat was all bad. They were just wrong, okay? The industry was paying s sh so much uh, money to the government lobbying that so much money was being made uh, by them uh, that they recommended uh, the high carb, low fat diet, 50 years. It was totally wrong. That's why we have this tremendous uh, epi pandemic, epidemic, it's across the world uh, of people with diabetes, overweight. But remember I said, even this skinny people can be diabetic because they have fatty liver and you don't see it. So get your blood tested, even the thin people mm -hmm. I mean, ins insist on it. So uh, if you just wanna, don't want to read it all, let me recommend one cookbook to you, Quick Fix by, by Dr. Furman. Uh, I, I know him personally. He has a picture of, of every meal, the recipe. You eat that way for two months, you will not have diabetes. Read nothing else, just do this. Yeah, there's some other books. He also wrote a book, End of Diabetes, Dr. Joel Furman. I mean, he's got a great website. Uh, uh, and so what am I saying to you? You can get rid of diabetes two to three months, not hard. No diet, eat different food, eat different food. If you can space yourself between meals a little bit, uh, that would be intermittent fasting. You'll go into a fat metabolism and you will increase the speed of getting rid of diabetes or if you're trying to lose some weight times 50%. You'll double the speed. Mm -hmm. But don't go beyond that. I don't want you to miss a day or half a day or a week or a month for fasting. No way. I'm just saying space your meals uh, like 18-6, 24. Space your meals a little bit. Don't have to do that. But if you want to really speed it up, that will speed it up. But thanks for listening. Uh, to uh, my little talk here, but I want you to learn more by reading more, by getting hold of this page, connect with me uh, on Facebook, on YouTube. I'm throwing information at you. It's free. I do this because I'm a doctor and I love you. And share your stories with me. If you need to be personally coached, see me at the Three Rivers Pharmacy, 
for free uh, on Fridays. If, if it gets too crowded, I'll probably switch to an, another day. But I discourage you from just taking that script and you take it all your life. Uh, medication may improve your diabetes a bit. You may live a little bit longer, but if you want to have a normal life, get rid of the disease. Get rid of the disease, okay? And I'm giving you the information how to do it. I do this because I love you. Namaste. See you next time.